Alright, we are back. Actually, what are you looking at? He's just looking up at the ceiling. Alright. I'm still on this mic. What? My phone just rang. Oh, it's just TikTok again. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Not the color wheel again. I technically don't have to keep fighting these things, so I could just try to run. Let me see if running will work. Oh yeah, it worked. Great. You did it! Great job! Mana Saber. I think that's what I gave Claire. Yeah. No, that thing is like in my way. No! <laughs> no, it's like Pac-Man. It just hunts us down. Oh god, it's in my way. I can't move past it. Ugh. Dang it. Okay, fine. This thing is awful. Well, at least I'm getting levels from this. Corrupting everyone. Let's do beat up. Dream. Bruh, stop corrupting everyone. Okay, and it has no mana to drain, that's fine. There we go, that's one. And get my MP back, because I'll need it to heal. Perfect. Um... Skills. Let's go to you, and let's just give everyone a bit of first aid. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, wait, that was the wrong way. Wait, what? Wait, this way? Okay. Of course, it's the longest way it takes. Yay! Sand switches are activated. Caution, remain on solid ground while adjusting sand altitude. When traveling in groups, ensure that all present are within one yard of sand switch for activation. Nice, this should get us deeper into the dungeon. Can I go this way? Thank you. Do I have it? Do I have another key? Okay, no, I don't. Let's see what this will do. Oh, wait. Um, okay, well, now it's middle. What do we do with that? I guess we come here. 
Need to be up in six hours to so calling it an early night. Have a fantastic stream, Wham. Thank you so much, Madifer. Thank you for coming by and hope you have a good rest. Take care. Aw, oh, thank you. I love Pat Pat. What? Are those donuts? What are these? Donut? Why are there donuts on the ground? Weird. That must have been part of the room or something. I didn't see any donuts before. There we go. Found the key. Now I need to go all the way back around. What is this? Ooh. Money. I love money. Okay, it actually needs to be middle. My bad. There we go. And then go this way. No. We go through the door. Yes, and then we go this way. I have one key. I guess I could use the key here. This is a key door. Well, hello. Hey, so the monsters still think I'm one of them. I've gotten in a couple scraps, but for the most part, I've been able to sneak around pretty easily. Can't say we've had the same luck. These guys definitely aren't fans of ours. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. You know, I had my doubts, but y'all seem really... Y'all really do, do seem competent. That seems like high praise coming from you, Neff. Anyway, I've been asking around to see if I could get you an ID card to get into the meeting, but no dice. Guess I'll have to keep looking. Say, hey, Neff, this is kind of a random thought, but... Didn't you say earlier that Javis tried to recruit you? Oh yeah, he did. The other day I was approached by a cloaked weirdo who said they worked for someone powerful. Said I might be of use to them. I turned him down, of course. I generally try to avoid getting caught up in pyramid schemes. <laughs> Ironic considering your... No mommy jokes. I was thinking it too, though. <laughs> so Javits is scouting people out, huh? Whatever he has planned, it can't be good. Well, we'll find out soon enough. That's why we're here. Let's see what I can buy. Is there anything that can heal, um... There's something that can heal ice status. I have plenty of these guys, so... Wait, what was that? Oh. Boom. Cool. Wait, what? Wait, I just realized we're all pixely. Oh my god, we're cute. <laughs> I didn't even realize what was happening. Oh, ominous polygon appears. Wait, I was just enjoying myself for a second. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kiss Allison. Uh, Allison's gonna go uh, Beasto mode on you, and then uh, they're gonna attack you and uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely made sense. This this polygon do be very ominous though. Jolt. Bruh, don't heal. It's rude. Um, let's do first aid on you. I will dive bomb you. 
with an attack boost. And let's bind you for a second. Ka-ching! Alright, let's do... Uh, restore your MP. Just in case I'll do that. And yeah, I will just do an attack. Bye bye. Peace out. Hey, it's Ferret. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Having a good Sunday? Come on, punch it, guys. Punch it. There we go. Just got off work, so not so far. Dang. Sorry to hear that. Work's lame. But at least you're off work now. Oh, interesting. So I already have this. Can I give this to anyone else? No, this is already the best I got. It's fine. Noise. Okay. Oh, we're back to normal. But I like that. I want to be small again. Look at us. We're so small and cute. Oh, there's more to explore anyway. Look at how small and cute we are. Oh, there's another door here too. There's so many doors. Oh my goodness. I are some of these doors fit? Uh. Hello? Hey, buzz off. Can't a slime enjoy your break in peace? Why aren't you in the break room then? Uh, hello, because this is the slime room? Are you even listening to yourself? If you aren't interested in fighting, then can you give us some info on Javis? Or maybe lend us an ID card? Nope, get lost. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, these slimes are so mean. Wait, maybe if I talk to each one of them, one of them will be nice. One of them has got to be a nice slime. Hold on, I, I believe. I just have to keep track of who I'm talking to. There is a secret nice slime in here, I know it. The art and music in this game is great so far. It is! I love it so much. It's so cute. God, why are none of these slimes nice? Okay, well, I tried. I really tried. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I was really hoping that at least one of them would be nice to me. Fine, I will leave your little... Oh wait, no, there's another place I could go over... No wait, that was the slime room. Never mind, I'm stupid. Get unstuck, wham. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why is this one so green? It's freaking me out. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> Okay, we're really big. Claire, why are you so close to Allison? Personal space. Oh. Okay, what... What is this supposed to be? This is also pretty cute. It reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? What's this, what does this style remind you guys of? It's on the tippy tip of my tongue. Okay. Found a key. 
The question is, where do I want to use this key? Man, I love this one, though. This one's cute. God, the green. The green hurts my eyes. <laughs> All right. Let's see where this key goes. Oh, this is interesting. It's very cool looking. I like the rainbows. Okay, found gold. And there's another sand switch here. That did something in the next in the previous room, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, so now there's sand. What does that do for me? There's more sand. Okay. I'm gonna save separately in case I wanna use the other key in another room. All right, yeah, let's fight. Singularity. Why does this look like a sliding puzzle? This is my, this is the one enemy that gets me the most stress so far is this one that looks like a sliding puzzle. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. All right, I'm gonna kiss Allison. Allison's gonna um, burn it. Um, Claire's going to... Actually, let's not burn it. Let's just go for a, um, a dive bomb. Claire's going to give um, lightning blade to Allison and you're gonna bury your Claire. Yeah, let's dance. The music really do be good, though. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll just heal myself. <laughs> um, let's try to freeze it. And just to make it a little... Um, easier to build up my points. Let's do a taunt. Ow. Burn me. Come over here, dummy. Okay, let me peer heal myself. Attack boost on Allison. Heal my burn. Ow! This thing really does not like Melody. Probably because I said I don't like sliding puzzles. It has something against me. <laughs> I just realized something also. Hold on. Yeah, I guess I'll just heal myself again. <laughs> Bruh. And purify you. Oh, wait, not purify. Damn it, that was the wrong thing. Hold on. I meant herbal cure. Let me do that, just so I can get some healing in. If you burn me, I swear to goodness. 
Let me do that, and we'll all attack. Bruh, it just healed itself. What a jerk. <laughs> There we go. Finally! Sweet, now we can get into that meeting and hopefully find out what's going on here. Perfect. Let me just... heal Jody up a little bit. Perfect. Alright, so I have the ID cards. Is there something I should do before I go into the boss room? Alright, what I assume is gonna be a boss. Probably should just heal everything up. So let me go into my potions. Um, and use an ether. Okay, I think it should be good now. I can't imagine anything I could give that would be better than what I have currently. So I think we're good, as long as, um, whoops, did not mean to do that. Before we go in, I'm just going to look at the beast area entries that I got, just because they're fun. I like to look at them. I have returned. Also, Neon Labyrinth is my favorite dungeon. It's a lot of fun. I love I love the rooms that changed us into the style of different games. That was fun. Alright, let's see what the Beast Diary says about these new things. Singularity. Oops. Singularity. Yeah, I don't know how I deal with this. I have no idea what's going on here. It has a lot of HP, which, yeah, it did. Whoops. Helper Jelly. These slimes are trained to do one thing and only one thing. Heal Javits' minions. They can't even attack, meaning they're constantly healing. Freeze them to stop this. Allison's Notes. I hope that this isn't a war crime. Oh my goodness. Allison's thinking the real questions here. Um, op Ominous Polygon. These magical constructs seem to serve as guard drones in Javis' bases, patrolling the halls for intruders. Looking into their bodies is like looking through a window to a totally different area. Don't get mesmerized. Though, as ominous polygons are capable of powerful lightning attacks and have no known weaknesses. Okay, no weaknesses, interesting. Terran Space Time. More powerful versions of the Rips in Space Time, as seen in the previous dungeon. This time they cut through the vibrant colors of the Neon Labyrinth to reveal the darkness beneath. Like before, their ability to corrupt the party and lack of elemental weaknesses makes them a worrisome foe. Little Pinchy. I love Little Pinchy. Look at it. Look how cute he is. Glitched Chimeras that seem to be based off of Glyph's claws. Like Glyph herself, these little guys pack a punch and have decent defensive boots. Interesting. Alright. With that all read, why don't we see what is behind this door? Moan of Truth. Great. Um, monster done inside. Monsters will attack randomly. Proceed with caution. Sounds like a good place to stop by if we need to do a little last minute training. Yep. But um, I'm going to assume that the way we are now is good because good making proper assumptions is nice. I'm sure we're fine. We're fine. Hey, look, it's, it's this thing. Man, I don't even like being in the same room as this. Whatever it is. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I thought you were supposed to be the brave one, Jody. I'm way out of my league with this caliber of magic. 
I just leave the sort of thing to Claire. It weirds me the hell out. It must be some kind of whore? The last dungeon just vanished when we accidentally broke the other one. Looks like my services are needed here once more. As much as I'd love for you to smash this thing, Allison, we should keep looking for Javis first. Good thinking. And while we're here, let's see if we can find any info on this core. New user detected. Would you like to be the user guide? Yes, please. Welcome, new user. This is the Berenna Empire Reality Scrambler, also known as Verse. The Scrambler utilizes magical energy graciously given to us by our leader, Her Royal Highness Queen Verena, Verena, whatever, to shape reality. Great. That sounds promising. The fabric of the universe is broken down into pieces, reduced to its purest form, and rearranged into a new shape. As the Scrambler continues its operations, its radius of effect will continue to expand into neighboring areas. That is concerning. With enough energy and time, a network of Scramblers can rewrite an entire planet, solar system, and beyond. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's really powerful and bad. Please make sure to watch your step around Scrambled Matter and the facility. Have a nice day. Oh, okay. Holy crap. I've heard enough. I don't care what Javis's motives are. This thing is bad news. This shouldn't even be possible, right? Magic can do a ton, but it can't do all this. Yeah, this is... a lot. I've never heard of this Queen Verena, but she must be an incredibly powerful being. Maybe the computer has some more information. Like what these people want with the Sapphire Islands of all places. Aren't we just a random target? Um, computer, what is the current objective? Access denied. Of course. Well, hey, we still got that meeting to sneak into, right? It's almost noon. Let's head over there and see what we can find out from Javas himself. Okay. Are we ready? This is probably the point of no return. Yep. This must be the place. Perfect. It's 1159. Javas should be here any second. Come on, let's run into the crowd and listen in on this. Totally blending in. Hello, my dear minions. Thank you for coming to this mandatory meeting. The crowd does seem a bit thin, though. I'll have to give the stragglers a stern talking to. Well, no matter. Now, it has come to my attention that some of you have absolutely no idea what you are doing. As such, I have prepared a brief presentation of our mission. Our primary target in this dimension is the planet Reverie, which we are currently stationed on. While this planet may seem unremarkable, it is a place of particular interest to our leader, Her Royal Highness Queen Verena, for reasons I will not get into. In particular, Queen Verena has her eye on a nearby archipelago known as the Sapphire Islands. The islands have a low population which should pose minimal threat, mostly comprised of these bipedal mammal things. Baffling creatures. Hey, that's me, I'm on TV! <laughs> Woodland beasts are not meant to be six feet tall. That's irresponsibly large. The mere thought of their reckless anatomy makes me shudder. Oh my god, this guy's just anti-furry. That's the- that's the whole oh dear, this is an anti-furry faction. How dare they? Because their bodies are covered in a layer of hair, I've decided to give them a little Nicholas name. I refer to them- <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> I refer to them as- hold on a second here. Harry's. What? Harry's? Bruh. Bruh, how dare he? How dare he besmirch the name? Bruh, this is an outrage. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I will not stand for this. I will not stand for this. Unbeknownst to the Harrys. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> 
We've set up three scramblers in key locations around the region. One is here in a neon labyrinth. You've undoubtedly seen it. Everything around you is its handiwork. Our primary scrambler is set up to the north, atop the tallest mountain on the main island. This will soon serve as our new home base. Now some of you have heard rumors of a meltdown at our third location hidden below a town named, um, Green something. But rest assured, we have not deviated from the plan. As we speak, the scrambler is being repaired. If all goes well, the town will be under our control in mere hours. Uh, what? Guys, we have to get back to Green Ridge pronto. Not just yet, we came all this way to find Javis, we need to hear his whole plan. Oh, this whole operation is going swimmingly. Verena will be so proud of me for what a great job I've done this time. Yes, I know that many of you have heard stories of my failures in other dimensions. Those operations were regrettable, to say the least. But this time we have some additional help. You see, we have an undercover operative on Reverie. A license who knows the area like the back of her paw? Do they have paws? She is an exceptionally skilled and ambitious beast who I knew would be a great addition to the team. Who is it? Who is it? Don't tell me it's that, that one chick. That one chick that is so mean to Allison. Is it? Please, everyone, give a warm Verena Empire welcome to our new compatriots. Who is it? Guys, that's the person I followed out here. Say hello, Paula. It was her! It was her! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it the second she said something about the person. I just had it just had to be her. What? Allison, calm down, Allison, I know. I know Allison, calm down. Nah, I'm just resting with y'all. So uh hi, glad to be here. I think there's a lot I can bring to this team. You know, my last gig didn't offer dental or anything, so you guys are definitely a step up for me in that regard. Dude, that's my co-worker up there. I knew she was a jerk, but I didn't know she was full-blown evil. I mean, to be fair, Allison, did your job offer you dental? I can understand a little bit if, if this one is. Everyone needs dental. This is bad. This is very bad. Well, I'm uh, really excited about doing some pummeling for all y'all. There's a lot of folks around here, could he use a pummeling or two? I'd also like to... Okay, that's nice, Paul. A lovely speech. Anywho, I'm even more excited to introduce everyone to someone else today. Oh, I can hardly contain myself. I am so proud to introduce you all to your commanding officers. My bo- His sons? Everyone, meet Bigby, Killer Ray, Clinston, and Roy. Huh. Hmm. I gotta say, I think Clinston is my favorite. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Howdy. Question mark? I made them myself using fragments of my own life essence. They're my pride and joy. My sons. Please be sure to be nice to them and lavish them with praise, everyone. Some may accuse me of nepotism for putting my four sons in charge, especially when they are mere days old. To that I say this, I do not care. Please do not dote on us so heavily in front of the minions, father. Sorry, you're right. As much as I'd love to espouse the virtues of my four beautiful boys all day, there's one more person I'd like to draw your attention to. Can I just say, I love that Javis is a loving father. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can redeem him. There's one person who made today possible. Well, other than myself and Verena, of course. Why, she's so instrumental to our plan that I even bothered to learn her name. This is Claire Higsby. Oh! Oh no! What did Claire do? Oh no. Claire may not know how much help she's been. But we truly could not have done this without her. It was a certain spellbook in Claire's possession, 
that caught her queen's eye in the first place. Oh no, was it because of the spell she cast on us? Oh no. And it was Claire who summoned us here. Oh. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Claire, what did you do? Nothing, I promise you, I didn't. In fact, why don't we think Claire and her companions in person? Ah, oh, he definitely- I knew that they would see us. Look at all the eyes up there on stage, there's so many of them. <clears throat> Hello. Shit. Uh... Oh, you must have felt so sneaky. Oh, look at us, listening in on Javis's meeting without him noticing. You dimwits, of course I've known you were here all along. Yeah, I gotta admit that little labyrinth puzzle kind of had me thinking that you knew we were here. This whole base, a mere distraction. We did all of these desert shenanigans to lead you away from your precious little town and keep you from interfering with our mission. And you all fell for it. Okay, buddy, we've heard enough out of you. We're not just gonna sit here and let you destroy Green Ridge. Green Ridge, that's what. That was the name of your town. Sarah, let me take him. I've been dying to prove my worth around here. No, you're needed back on the surface, Paula. We can let someone else depose of our unwanted and invited guests. Meh, if you insist. Hey, Galetta. Do me a favor and don't kick the bucket before I get a chance to thrash you. Paula, how could you side with these guys? I have my reasons. Was it the dental? It was the dental, wasn't it? So unlike you wouldn't understand. I'll see you losers back in Green Ridge. Well, you know what? It's nice that Paula believes that we're gonna kick this guy's butt. Although you might not recognize it when we're done with it. My boys and I have places to be, I'm afraid. I'll leave you with this as a parting gift. Huh? Gumball Goliath. Ow. Looks fun. Alright, well I gotta start by kissing Allison because Allison's gonna need it. Um... Hello. That's not good. Um, let's try this. Let's do slow-mo on that guy. But he burned me. Okay, so he's resisting scorch. All right. Let me do this resilient. Let's do time heal some wounds so we can get some health every time. I don't like how many enemies are showing up. One down. Look at all our status effects. Ugh. Let's do Herbal Cure on me. Actually, let's- yeah, let's do Herbal Cure on me. Um, we will attack that. And... 
gotta, I'm gonna bind this thing so it doesn't summon more gumballs. Okay, there we go. Ah, stop summoning gumballs. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do a uh, multi scorch and let's attack that one. Okay, they're at least weak to fire, that's good. Bruh. Okay, uh, damn it, I'm burning. Stop burning me. Okay. I don't know what charge means. Okay. My resilience is gone, so we recast it. Um, let's attack this again. Um, she's going to do multi scorch, and we'll just do another uh, attack on you. Because multi scorch should kill every of the gumballs. Ah! The burning! The poison! Okay, okay. Alright, they're all gone. Ow. 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 Can I heal everyone? do this. Alright. Stop it! Stop poisoning me! I have everything. All the status conditions. <laughs> Goodbye, gumballs. Ugh. Just guard, and then I'll do time heal some wounds. Okay. everything. Wow, man. It's very resilient, but this should at least bind it till I kill it. And just gotta kill those gumballs. <laughs> gumballs. Okay. Um I'm just gonna let's just attack it. Let's just be real and oh wait, actually 
I have enough to do something here. It's burned, so I could do that. Just in case. We should be able to- Ah, oh, damn it, it froze her. There we go. Do I have to kill the gumballs? Nope. Ah, oh, okay, great. And we all leveled up. I learned revive. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Lightning kicks. Nice. Cracking the armor. I love getting new skills. Well, that's one problem taken care of. Claire, is there something you're not telling us? What did Javis mean when he said you summoned him here? I don't know. Maybe he's just lying to drive us apart. He seems to have a thing for mind games. Claire. What serious, I... Oh my god, the basement dungeon. They must have hitched a ride somehow when I summoned those dark magic constructs to train you two with. I knew it. I knew that whole plan was bad news. You think everything's all fun and games, but now look at the mess we're in. God, we never should have done any of this. That shouldn't be possible, though. I told you before, it should take a lot of mana to summon someone like Javis, and I barely used any energy when I summoned the dust bunnies. Hey, it's Fakazoo! Welcome, welcome, Fakazoo! You're in for a treat. Drama is unfolding. Good to see you. My spells must have been tampered with or something. There's no way an untrustworthy spell would be in there normally. Sure, because you're always so careful. Hey, it's also Darius! Hi, Darius! Welcome, welcome! Everyone's hopping in for the super lesbian RPG stream. Good to see both of you! Guys, you would not believe what Javis said. Javis called us bipedal animal folk. He called us Harry's. What an outrage. I don't know, it sounds like they were targeting me because of some spellbook iron or something. Guys, you have to believe me. I would never do something like this if I thought there was even the slightest possibility it would go this bad. Melody, you believe me, right? Mmm. Okay, so three options. It's not Claire's fault. It's kind of Claire's fault, and let's stop fighting. Hmm. I don't really want to say it's Claire's fault, because I, I believe her when she says that she didn't intend for this to happen. Um... It's not Claire's fault. Claire, you can be reckless, but you're my friend. I wouldn't be here with you if I didn't trust you. I don't think you would do this on purpose. But no matter whose fault it is, we need to do something about this. Yes, everything is so okay. We're going to fix this. We just need to run home and rally the troops. Warn Faith and the Paladin Brigade that the fight's coming. Maybe even get help from the Leons. Anyone. There's still a chance we can minimize the damage here. Come on, you guys. Come where exactly? There's no exit. Just ease up on Claire. I'm sure she has a plan to get us out of this, right? Um, yeah, just give me a second to think. I did have a great weekend. Thanks, Fakazoo. I had, I'm having a good time. I'm sad that my weekend's almost over. That's my only feeling. <laughs> Sunday is always like, ah, it's almost Monday. Hey, it's Gorky. Hello, Gorky. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Everyone's hopping in. Wow. Wait, the purification spell I learned in the basement dungeon. Maybe I can clear a path here. There we go. Nice thinking, Melody. Come on, work. Please work. Just left church? Nice. Now you're free. Free to roam in the wild. No, 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 come on. This has to work. Now that's true, I couldn't cast the purify spell earlier either. Hey, don't push yourself too hard there, Mel. I'm giving this one everything I've got. 
There, come on, let's get out of here. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling that there will be consequences for that? Hey, how goes the adventuring? Very, very bad. But it looks like we're done here. If we smash this machine, then everything should go back to normal. Really? Wow, nice work. You know, I had my doubts about you at first, but thanks for everything you've done to help out Mumford, seriously. We'd love to stay in Chaffneff, but we got an emergency to take care of back home. Oh crap, sorry. You ready to return this place to normal then? Yep. Bang, 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 bang! The whole gang's here. Hell yeah. The super lesbian animal RPG furry gang. <laughs> Come on, let's go book it to the teleporter we used to get here and get back to, to Green Ridge. Hey, it's also Snacko! Oh my god, literally everyone is popping in. How are you doing, Snacko? How are you? Happy Sunday! I gotta say, Snacko, I can tell you're very addicted to Tunic. <laughs> With your super long streams of it. It looks so fun though. So I can't blame ya. Slarpy G is going great. A lot of drama is, unha is unfolding. But you know what? That's what makes it good. Um. God, where is the teleporter supposed to be? No! Damn it! Get out of my way. I have to run home. You're going to Furry Equinox? That sounds exciting! Are you gonna post about the details on your Twitter? I'd love to hear how that goes. Ooh, a chest. Oh, hell yeah. I gotta live vicariously through everyone else going. <laughs> Let me go! I don't remember where stuff is, so I have to guesstimate. Guesstimate based on my memories. Okay, uh, teleporter is not that way, I guess. Where is it? No! Get out of my way! Out of me way! Um... Is it down? No, it's not down. Ah, this thing is chasing us. Where is my my max repel when I need one? Ah, you are being chased by everything here. They're like persistent. Okay. Um maybe it's this way? No wait, I came from that way. Oh no, no, this- it is this way, okay. And then it should be up. Um... No, it's not past the spikes. It's... up here? And... There we go. What? No, 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 no! The teleporter's been smashed! How are we supposed to get home now? That is not good. Hmm. Okay, this is bad, but let's not panic now. Allison, what about your mom's car? Did she give us a ride? Does her car fly? Did I miss that? <laughs> Hold up. That's a two-seater. That's not gonna work. We should go talk to Ipsy back in Mumford. She knows a lot about machines, so maybe she'll need to fix the transporter for us. Okay. The Mumsford, then. Um, I think Mumsford was literally this way. Wait, no. Where, where was Mumsford? This was... I think if I go up? No. The 
This is like right outside of Mumsford, if I remember. So I think if I go down, oh yeah, down, this is Mumsford. Okay, to Ipsy. No, that's Doc. Where was Ipsy? Was Ipsy... Oh wait, Ipsy, this should be here in the mechanic shop. Here we go. Oh, hey, Jody. Ipsy, we need your help. You two know each other? I'm the one who made the Gimzo. Jody used to fix Glyph. Thanks for your help with that, by the way. Now what's up? Our town is in danger, but the teleporter we used to get here has been smashed. Think you can fix it? Well, yes, but it'll take a while, and it sounds like you don't have time to spare. Hmm. Oh, you know, there's a second teleporter that leads to a different spot on the Sapphire Islands. It hasn't been turned on in years, but it should still work if we can get the control power and reroute the power. Oh, I don't like that place, Ipsy. It's so scary in there. It doesn't matter how scary it is. If it's our way home, we're game. In that case, we'll meet you by the entrance. It's that big door directly to the north of Mumford. Can't miss it. Oh, and Jody, have this for helping Glyph. I owe you one. The Machina spellbook. That looks cool. Let me look at that. Um, where is it? Scrap cannon, scrap armor, and scrap armor value pack. Interesting. Alright, we will be right back, guys. Gonna take a quick break. So see you in a hot second. Stay tuned. We will resume shortly. <laughs> 